Hi, I'm your host Mohamed Azam and uh, in this video I'm going to show you that how you can use GCD which is the Grand Central Dispatch. Uh, G GCD or Grand Central Dispatch is actually the heart of the concurrent programming in iOS development and uh, we're going to see that how you can utilize it and why do you need it. Okay, So this is a little bit of code. This is going to go ahead and fetch the vegetables uh, vegetables from a URL. Um, it's going to have a name and a thumbnail image and I'm just populating the entity class vegetable as you can see. Okay, uh, And I mean we have already gone through most of this code in our previous uh, I mean not this exact code but a similar code and how to populate a UI table view. So if I run this right now uh, I'm just populating the vegetable name in my table cell and here we go everything is very smooth and you can see that all the all the vegetables okay and you can uh, iterate through them you can uh, you know the lag if you see a little bit of lag that is not uh, because of the application but that is of course because of the uh, screen recording software okay so it runs pretty smooth everything is good and then you say okay I need to also display the images um, so let's go ahead and do that we do have the URL of the images right so uh, we, we just have to load the images so that we can uh, populate it uh, the question is how will you start loading it so I'm just gonna say NS data uh, data over here um, and it's data data um, with contents of URL uh, this will going to take a NS URL URL with string vegetable dot uh, image URL here we go and then we can take UI image image and then uh, UI image image with data and uh, we are going to pass in the data and we get the image right and once we get the image we have cell dot thumbnail image view set image and then we're going to assign the image okay and uh, now we are going to run the application and you will see that it's taking so much time and if I'm scrolling, look at the scrolling. It's pretty much dead, right? Uh, you can see the lag over here because the reason, of course, is we are fetching the images on the main thread, on a thread that the user sees, on the user interface thread. And it, it, it when it fetches the images, it, it, it fetches on that particular thread and the user uh, cannot really do anything at that point right uh, it becomes it basically gets hold of the thread it holds on it fetches the images from the URL that we are providing and it pretty much kills the performance all right so it would be a great idea to fetch the images on some sort of a background thread which is not the main thread of the application and that is exactly what uh, we can actually do Okay, so let me introduce you to GCD. Just bear with me, I'm just gonna paste some code over here so that we can uh, go through it. So here is the dispatch queue. Okay, so we'll get global queue. So this is how you create a, a dispatch queue. A dispatch queue is responsible for being dispatched or getting the the work done in the background. Okay, uh, dispatch get global queue. Uh, and the, you can get different kinds of queues. Uh, you can get custom queues. You can get uh, serial queues. And this is a very this is a high priority queue that we are trying to get and we are going to get that queue over here uh, dispatch async is basically it's saying that hey 
this is a task, whatever comes in the block over here, this is a task that I need to perform in the in a separate concurrent thread, in a separate thread, in a background thread, and uh, don't do this task on the main thread. I, I mean, well, it depends on the queue, on which queue it is being performed, because you can perform the dispatch async on the main thread also, as we will see. Okay, so this can be this operation. This is in a block. Uh, you can do you, it. Can be anything. You can be reading a file, reading a URL, reading, scraping some pages with a lot of content. So everything has to be done or should be done on a background thread. So the user main thread that the user is looking at the screen it's not blocked. The same thing we are going to do. We are going to use NS data. Uh, UI image, but once we get the UI image, you can see that we are using the dispatch async, and um, let's comment this out. But we are using the dispatch async, and we are going to update the main thread because if you don't update the main thread, the user will not see the changes. Okay, let's go ahead and build this and see if it, everything is good. Uh, let's go ahead and run it. So now you can see it's pretty smooth, very smooth now, and you can see that the images are being fetched, and uh, you know you can scroll. So it's no longer holding off the uh, the main thread, and the user can scroll. But now you see one thing is it's loading the images again and again. For that purpose, you can actually use the image cache. Okay, so let me go ahead and introduce the image cache. Image cache is basically, uh, or image cache or NS cache is basically the idea is that if you're fetching something, you can put that in the cache, especially the images, and then next time when they are fetched, you can use the image cache or the cache that you NS URL cache. Uh, so that you don't have to fetch them again. Uh, the image cache is over here is initialized and it's cache, and then the, we are just giving it a certain name, vegetable image cache. And of course, when we go over here, we have the URL, the vegetable dot image URL. We are going to first check that if that particular URL exists in the image cache, if it. Uh, if it exists, then simply set it out, right? If it doesn't, then get or fetch the images, and then you uh, basically insert that image with the key into the NS URL. And now you can see very, very fast. We can uh, we can do really fast scrolling, as you can see. It's loading the images, and they don't load again and again, as you can see. If I stop in between, they are already been loaded. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So if you are doing any heavy intensive work, you are unzipping the files, you are doing this, what I'm doing over here, you are fetching the images, you are uh, uh, reading uh, some data from, from a website, you are parsing through a lot of text. Um, all of this can be performed in a background thread easily uh, using the GCD as you have seen. All the code is actually available. Uh, let me show you the the URL, which is this. So you can write this out. This is a URL. If you go over there, uh, you can find all the uh, all the code associated with this, and uh, you know you can use it in your own applications. That's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for more.